This is a brief tutorial on how to use Python to import data, do some basic analysis, and then export that data, and also generate a trend. So what I'm going to do is take this data file that I have here. The first column are times, and then the other columns are sensor values that I want to be able to read. You can also see I have some not a number values over here on the right. Okay, so those are bad data. Um, so what I want to do is first of all just go ahead and create a new file. Okay, so I'm going to create a new text document. For example, I'm just going to name this myscript.py. Just change the extension. You can select yes here. It asks you if you want to change the extension. And then if you just right click on this, and then select edit with IDLE. There are other editors as well that are very good. Um, IDLE is, is one of them. Um, now we can also just run the script. Once it's ready, we can just run it right from here by hitting F5, or you can come up into the menu and select run, and then run module. Okay, there's the shortcut key listed there. Uh, what we want to do first of all is just go ahead and import a couple packages. We uh, want to import NumPy that does uh, data manipulation, import and export and uh, I'm going to rename that as NP. Just make it a little bit shorter. Okay, and then I also want to be able to import matplotlib um, pyplot. Okay, so that's going to help us generate some, some plots. I'll rename that as PLT. Um, now what I want to do is just load in my data file. And I can use that with the NumPy package called gen from txt. Okay, so I'm going to generate an array, a uh, NumPy array from a text file. Uh, in this case it's data underscore file dot txt. And then my delimiter. Um, now my delimiter is going to be a comma. Okay, so it's comma separated values. Okay, and then if I run this, uh, it's going to bring up um, click OK to save there. It's going to bring up a Python shell. And then um, what I can do now is, is uh, once it's imported, I can take a look. So, so for example, maybe at the first uh, few rows of that, um, and you can see the array that was imported. Okay, so, so what I want to do now is just um, uh, do some analysis with that. Uh, I'm going to break it into a couple different vectors just to make it easier to work with. Uh, here's my data. I'm just going to uh, take um, just the first column of that data. Now Python starts with a zero index array, uh, or a, z uh, a zero index for its arrays uh, as you're referencing them. So that's going to be the, the zeroth uh, column. Okay, then I have my sensors. I, I notice I only had four good ones, so I have my data. I'm going to take I'm going to take all of my rows. Okay, so I do the colon comma there. Just take all of my rows, and then I do colon comma one to five. So that's going to take one, two, three, and four. It's not going to take the fifth one as well. It's just going to take one through four. Um, and then uh, let me just print out. Uh, just the sensors, just the uh, the first uh, five rows of those sensors. Okay, so I'm going to do zero to six uh, there. And then um, the other thing I, I noticed when I opened up this data file is that time did not start at zero. Time started at one point about one point four times ten to the ninth. So I just want to start time at at zero instead of at uh, that that large number. Okay, so let me just subtract that off. Time equals time minus uh, time, just the very first element of that time vector. Okay, so that gets all of my time values back to starting at zero and then incrementing up from there. Okay, so now uh, let me go ahead and run this one again. On the uh, run, F5 is going to ask me to save. I click OK to save and then it's going to run. And there I can see my first, uh, these are my first six rows of my sensor data. Okay, so uh, we have the data imported, and then if I look at time, for example, it's going to have a continuation character there. It's actually 1,200 in length here, but it starts with zero, and then about one, three, and then those are the last three in the time uh, vector. Okay, so um, let, let me go ahead and just do uh, an average value of the sensors. I had four sensors at each time point. 
let me just get an average value of those sensors at every time point. So I'm going to use the uh, NumPy, the mean uh, function, and then as I open the parentheses, it's going to give me a little bit of help there, just a, a tip. Um, and I'm going to take my sensors, and I just want to take that mean over the 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 second uh, um, dimension. You have zero is the first, one is the second. So I'm going to do it over the second, the column um, uh, values, and uh, get my averages. Okay, of the sensors at each time point. I have four of those. Um, and now what I want to do is um, export the data. If I want to put a comment in here. Um, I can just do, use the hash sign and then uh, indicate uh, what I'm doing in this section. Now what I, what I want to do is um, go ahead and do a NumPy and save text, okay? And then this is going to be my uh, file name, first of all, and then my variable uh, that I want to be able to save. So um, I'm just going to create an export uh, from Python txt file and then um, have a uh, you know I'll call this my data that's the data I want to export my underscore data and then my delimiter okay again we use that uh, when we imported it but the delimiter is going to be a comma okay but now I need to make my data okay so my data that I want um, that that's going to be I'm going to have to concatenate um, or put these uh, data pieces together. Okay, and in that case, I'm just going to put um, all of my variables that I want in these parentheses. So I want time, I want my sensors, and then I want also my average. Okay, that I that I computed. So I'm going to export those again, and I'm going to. Um, do this over axis equals one. Okay, so I'm going to stack these in columns. So I'm going to have my time vector, my sensors, and then my averages, and then export that as a table. Okay, um, actually, when when I do this, if I if I run it, my this will give me an error because my average and my time those are, are row vectors. So I just need to translate those to column vectors now. Um, so what I I'm going to do is just name that uh, time column. And I'm just going to reshape that into a uh, into a, a column vector, okay? And then also do that same thing with my average. Um, I'll just go ahead and reshape that into a uh, column vector. And then I need to use those instead here um, when I export it. Okay, so uh, I think I have everything to be able to import the data. Um, I imported that from a, a text file. Actually, it was a CSV, comma separated value file. Uh, I have my time, my sensors. I print these out. Uh, just the first uh, six rows. Then I have my time that I've uh, adjusted to zero. I have an average, and then I'm going to save the data uh, here. Okay. So now what I want to do is just hit. Um, I can hit F5, and then it will run that. Okay. And then it. it put out this new file, you can see the time starts with zero, and then it just has those sensors and then my average value over here on the right. Okay, so that's my uh, data file that I exported. Now what I want to do is is also, um, let's, let's construct a plot. Okay, so um, we're going to construct a plot using this uh, PLT, the matplotlib.pyplot. And then if you wait long enough, you put a dot, it'll show you some of the ones that you can use here. I'm going to create a new figure. Okay, just figure one, and then do uh, a plot in that figure. I'm going to do time, and then also, um, let's just do our second uh, sensor. So I'm just going to slice this, and uh, just go after the, uh, the second sensor. Okay, and let me make that a red line. Okay, and then um, let me add another one. Um, let me plot the average values there. And let's do that as blue dots on our plot. Okay, and then um, let's just make this a little bit nicer. We'll add a legend here. I, I'm just going to say that is sensor uh, 2. And then we also have the average. Let me put that in qu single quotes. Um, 
let's see, there's my average. Okay, and then also I am going to get an X label. Um, my X label is going to be time in seconds. Okay, and then also a Y label. Okay, so um, I'll just say that's values. Okay, and uh, let's see. So now I have a plot that's generated with some labels. I've plotted two things there. Um, let me save that as a uh, PNG file so I can insert it into, a, like, for example, a presentation. Um, I'll just name that myplot.png. Okay, and then let's finally just show our plot on the screen as well. Okay, so let me let me run this. Uh, just this is the last one to run. Um, it's going to generate. Uh, looks like I had something out of index here. Let me just go check and and see what that is. It looks like I need to get rid of this one uh, right here. Um, let me do that and then I'll rerun it one more time. Sometimes you get this error if it's um, you haven't closed your plots from from last time, especially. Um, Okay, I'm going to save this. Just get rid of that once. I want all of the all of the rows, but just the first column. Okay, and when I run that, it's going to come up with this plot, and I'm going to see the values, and then it also exported that as a PNG file. If I open that up, there's my PNG file. Okay, so that is uh, that concludes this tutorial on. Python. What we've done is we've imported data, done some basic analysis, uh, exported the data, and then also generated a plot.